Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? You have reached Southern Intuition and this is going to be a tarot reading for the week of September 5th for the sign of Capricorn. Hey Cappy. So this reading, it may or it may not resonate for everyone. But I believe that everything connects eventually, Cappy. And if it's your message you hear, you'll do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe. Can I please get a message for the sign of Capricorn? This is all about you and that person that you got on your mind. So there you are. The beautiful Queen of Pentacles standing in her power. The nurturer, the mother. All is good in her world. Or is it? Five of Cups lies here at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. A little bit of sadness. Yeah. Just just a just a hair of it, huh? Mm. Oh. One more. Oh, waiting. Waiting, a lot of waiting. Five of Cups, the bottom of the deck. Tired of waiting. Worth the wait. Is it worth the wait? That's the energy that I'm getting here. Is it really worth the wait? How much more pain am I supposed to tolerate here with the Five of Cups energy? It's like you're kicking yourself here. It's very well, I mean, you could be partly responsible, but take taking all the blame would be self-defeating de here. I mean, you can't, you can't do that to yourself. And you can't let poor choices of bad situations, relationships, friendships, whatever, you can't allow them to ruin good relationships in the future. You have to be positive, Cappy. There is something here, though... I just, I really think you're tired of waiting. That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, on your side, you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Judgment. So, I mean, you're doing good. You're very money-focused. You're working. You're, you're doing your thing. You're nurturing yourself, your life, your family. I mean, you got kids, whatever. But there's something here that you, it's like, Oh my God, I just, this needs to happen. It needs to happen now. Like you're tired of waiting for it. Waiting for something here. I mean, you could have been separated from somebody for quite some time. And you're just waiting on some kind of good news. Like, good, good, can, just a little bit of good news, please, you know. And it's very painful, whatever this energy is that you're dealing with. This is a... Uh, it's a hard loss. A lot of grief here. You gotta transform, uh, transform the situation, Capricorn. You know, how can you make your anguish a learning experience? Alright, now on your person's side. Hmm, we got a page of cups, the six of wands, and the hierophant. So this is somebody that's... Uh, I would say they're committed to you. If not, they do have something that they want to say with that Hierophant energy. It's like a formal declaration of something. Um, they've, they've gotten some sort of recognition of something. And with the little old uh, cups guy there. And somebody is very loving. So it's very sophisticated. They're confident. But they're taking action. I feel... It's very weird. Very weird energy here, Capricorn. It's like... 
there's this very young, independent vibe that I'm getting. Uh, so this person that you're dealing with could be younger than you. And I don't know necessarily if they're giving you the attention that you want or if they're giving, if they're just somewhere else, like they're not near you. They're, they're somewhere else. And so you're waiting for them to let you know, Hey, what happened here? You're, you're waiting for something, um, some kind of something that they have some sort of knowledge that they've got. You're waiting for them to tell you what's going on. And this is driving you crazy. You're just waiting for it. Oh, okay. So for the connection, you got the hanged man, the justice and the eight of wands. All right, so, well, the hanged man is here. So you're trying to get balanced here before you take action. The Eight of Wands is movement. I mean, it is news coming in and news coming in fast. But you're almost like... Your hands are tied here. You can no longer struggle to get out of this situation, I feel like. You're at this crossroads. You kind of feel paralyzed. So maybe if you just chill, a solution will come at the perfect time. It's all about time. Divine timing. I'm so implying this is all about divine timing. Some sort of situation here that's got to be equal. I, I mean, maybe somebody's... Waiting on a court hearing. Um, I'm not sure. I, I mean, the justice card is about legal issues. And it's all about you. justice will be served. So if there was no justice in the past, then justice will be served now. I feel someone's being a little bit arrogant. Um, and they're just trying to be cautious here with the hanged man energy. They don't want to push too fast they they're, they're trying to get balanced of mm. I mean of course there's a somebody's been wronged here because of these this pain with this nine of swords and it's like having this urge to retaliate I think if you just regain yourself you know chill out here regain a stable footing and because the hangman doesn't mean that you're stuck, but yeah, I mean, it does. <laughs> it kind of does. You're just waiting for something, some sort of, some sort of call to action here for someone to tell you, okay, push the button. <laughs> it's time to push the button. Let's get you a, a message here from the Nicolaita Ciosalia deck. Well, strength. The Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups. Well, shit. It's been all about love. Look at that. The Six of Wands. There it is. Hmm. So, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to say that there's been some disagreements between you and this person. You, you got to realize, though, that good's always going to triumph. And you're fighting a good fight. Don't forget that. You're fighting a good fight here. You got to trust your instincts. There's something here that you desire. The Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups. I mean, whatever delights you. You're, you want to set your intention. You want to take action. Something about your material well-being at that. Definitely uh, pursuing a soulmate here, a partnership. But for some reason, you just have to wait. Hmm, Kathy. Let's get you a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Whoa. The Fates. Go the distance. Come to the edge and the never-ending story. Hmm. 
So it's like you're on the edge here with all of this mental anguish that's going on anyways. But this is in the hands of fate. Okay, this whole situation is about divine timing. And I'm going to read the never-ending story for you. Number 37. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, okay? This is all about unnecessary dramas that you're dealing with. You keep wanting to come to the edge, but then you stop yourself because of whatever this grief is that you're dealing with in your mind. You just keep dealing with this energy of, oh, I just don't know what to do with it. There's a story here. And it talks about hurt and it's talking about loss and even maybe some rejection. Someone could have been humiliated here. And even that arrogance, I feel. But it's just unnecessary drama. Sometimes your heart, you know, enters into a new contract with somebody because... It's, it results in pain. Not because there was abuse or there was neglect, but it could be for a complex of reasons. There's just shame here. There's even a fear of intimacy. I think right now you just got this opportunity that you could heal a situation and you could wait. And just put it all into the hands of fate, into divine timing. And good luck with that.